we're now on the stretch of motorway where three individuals lost their life and it's been well publicised through a heavy goods um, driver driving whilst using his mobile phone. So we're on a similar stretch of road and we found somebody else committing that offence. People still, even after that high profile collision where it was quite clear that it was caused by someone on a mobile phone, they still choose to use a mobile phone whilst driving. And I've seen the consequences personally of, of what can happen when people do that. Good morning, sir. You're okay? Yes, I'm alright. Do you know why I have stopped you? 110%. And we've passed you, we've been basically side to side with you, and you've had your phone in your hand talking. What were you doing on your phone? I was just at a work call and I just took it. Okay. We get all sorts of excuses. I was only using it for a brief moment of time. I was only checking texts. I was. I got a call. Yeah. Does it not have Bluetooth? No, so the only Bluetooth to one, so my head was charging, so it literally just it didn't have time to change it. So I just took the call and speak. And I was there, and there, yeah. The distractions of this cause road traffic collisions and needless fatalities that we need to investigate and go and tell family members that their loved ones aren't coming home. I'm going to give you a bit of education because this site here is quite relevant. Last year here, just prior to that overbridge there, okay. there was a heavy goods vehicle, okay? Yeah. The driver was using his mobile phone. Yeah. He's ploughed into several other vehicles. One was a fireball. So three people have tragically lost their life from somebody using the mobile phone, but literally relevant to their bow burn. Yeah. I also, on the night in question, went to deliver the death message to the family whose relatives and loved ones were underneath that heavy goods vehicle, yeah. okay? Please, it, yeah, it kills it. people. Yeah. You've gone through a main roundabout and then up past the back here while still being, because you were still on your mobile phone at this roundabout here. Stuck the engine off and uh, jump out, come have a seat with me. We're not trying to persecute people. What we're trying to do is we're trying to reduce um, deaths and fatalities on no, the road. No, I get it. Um, I get it. And what? mobile phones are major ones. So they are indeed. Is there anything now that you want to tell me in defence as to why it is you on the mobile phone? No, no, I shouldn't have been on it. You shouldn't sorry have been on it. Sorry about that. People don't seem to understand that having a mobile phone on their knee or, or sending a quick text or opening apps up is a problem, but it is. It's one of the main contributory actions towards serious and fatal road collisions. Hello there. The reason why I stopped you is because you were using your mobile phone. So the lady's disclosed there that she was using a satellite navigation system on her mobile phone. Obviously it's not fixed on the windscreen so that's an offence in itself. The law changed last year where you, you can't do that. You've got to, if you're using a sat nav right. it has to be in a cradle. A cradle. Right, okay. That attracts six points in a £200 fine which to a new driver who's just passed um, within their two years that's it, that's their licence gone. Jump out of the vehicle and come and have a seat in the back of mine just while we have a chat. He's made no denying that he'd been on his phone, just said he was just checking it. So why could he not have done those checks before starting up uh, and, and becoming mobile? And he hasn't even seen us coming from above the junction, but he's already got nine points from speeding offence, so the likelihood is that he's going to lose his licence. And... Pull over at the side of the road, turn your ignition off, handbrake on so the vehicle's safe, and then on the back of that, take the call or ring the person back yeah okay yeah. do you have your driving license on yet superb thank you i've explained to him the consequences surrounding of using his mobile phone and it cannot be more pertinent than being at the the junction where sadly three people did lose their lives he fully admitted the offense he did apologize for his actions but he'll be having six points in a, in a fine as a result of his actions today